We love it. Very good evening to you and welcome to an hour that we're going to spend in the northwest of India, in Ahmedabad, where a huge crowd turned up for today's second T20 international between India and Pakistan. And these are the highlights. OK, let's start off with the news of the toss. It was won by Pakistan. They decided to have a bowl first. And the team news was uh, as follows. Basically, one change for India. They dropped Adeja and brought in their specialist spinner, Ashwin. Pakistan stuck with the side that had won so well on Christmas Day, and they were unchanged. So those are the two 11s. It's uh, India to bat first. Here's what happened. Here goes one other fan. And off the mark with a couple. No, settling for the single. One thing you'll see, this is a quick outfield. Has gone away, square of the wicket, into the fence. Now there's example of how quick this outfield is. What a shot for Majinka Rahane. He just timed it beautifully, perfectly, between the gully and point. And it raced away to the boundary. There was a fielder there, a third man. He had no chance whatsoever. He opened the face of the bat to create that gap between point and gully. Well, this outfield is like uh, a billiards table. Third man had no chance whatsoever. It was just about 15 yards to his right. Goes past the outside edge. That's the natural delivery, Wasim Akram. Lovely shot. Beautifully played by Gautam Gambhir. Uh, everything right about it. The balance, the poise, the timing, and of course the placement. It was slightly wide outside the off stump. Look at the follow through. He met it beautifully. And that shows how good this track is to bat on. That's in the gap. <laughs> Look at this ball race away. He's not timed it well, but he'll still get a boundary. Boy, this is going to be a high-scoring game. He goes up the aerial route and finds the boundary. No half measures there. Just a little bit of extra width, and he flashes hard. He's a very strong player towards offside, the Jinke Rahane. Anything short and wide will be punished. He's got packed outside field, but he was wide. And he can hit you towards that region all day long. I think Shaz on this track as well, what bowler, fast bowlers should do, variation. Couple of slow balls, two dot balls and then a slow ball. Because with his pace, he needs to do, he needs to use his variety. He's got that fine and into the boundary. Clever cricket. Just using the pace of the bowler. You can see how the pressure has come back on Sohil Tanvir. Outside edge will beat third man. Then flashing hard, Gambir. It looked from here that he was expecting the delivery going away from him and wide. Look, he gave himself room and then he went after the ball, outside edge, no chance for a fielder at third man. You see both these batsmen, at times when there's width, they look to get under the ball, so that they can clear the infield on the offside. Not afraid to take the aerial route. So four in the ring there for Gambir on the off. And down the track, he's done exactly that. Well thought out. Gave the charge at the right time. And consecutive boundaries for the left-hander. So goal under pressure straight away in his first over. Tremendous effort, tremendous shot. Gave himself room as well. And obviously there was no fielder at the boundary. We are into fifth over. He's got his second four from this over, from over goal. Good follow-through. Eye on the ball till the last second. Classic example of how he got under the ball there to get the uh, elevation over the infield. These are shots that uh, batsmen practice in the nets these days. Now changing the angle. 
coming around the wicket to the left hander. He's going to bowl within the stumps. Come on. Did he get some bat on that? Short delivery. Boundary signal. So it came off the bat and wide of the keeper. 13 runs from the over so far. Wasn't a great delivery. It was short. Gloved it. Keeper had no chance. Fine leg was up. Square leg was back. And these flurry of boundaries uh, have got the crowd going. And they're on the edge of their seats, standing up. There's a buzz around the ground. This ground has a capacity of 47,000 people. And they've come in large numbers here. It's a full house here. Oh, what a lift. Uh, beautifully bold. Look at the height he got. This is supposed to be a dead track. Omar Akmal was as surprised as the batsman. Wow. And follows it up with a Yorker that was going down the lakeside. So good call by the umpire. But what a good choice of delivery. Irfan after making Yuvrat twist with a lifter. Got him all hopping up with a Yorker. Oh, beautiful straight drive. No need to run for that one. That's a glorious drive. Six from the over. 59 for two. That's a big shot. Beautifully placed. A master shot from Virat Kohli. Read the length early and bashed it for four. What's it away? Fine, bit of work to do. This is a very fast outfield. Yuvraj will get a boundary. Ends the over. It's 83 for two. Hesitancy. And he's gone. Gone by a mile. They were announced in the last game, two of them. Run out this time as well. Required a directed. Because it's not enough time for Virat Kohli. And the wicket keeper, Amran Akmal, to get to the stance. Virat Kohli had given up. Ajman was to feel that short fine leg. Virat Kohli very disappointed. He's got to go run out. He's gone for 27, 88 for 3. He was down like side. Fine leg was up there. There was no run. Direct hit. Ajman would have done the job. But that's what exactly he did. Bullseye. Well, he had to cover quite a bit of ground. Virat Kohli had given up. He had no chance, absolutely no chance. It's in uh, the captain, Mahendra Singh Dhoni. Went cheaply in the last game, but he'll be looking to make amends here. In the air. And he struck it delightfully, Mahendra Singh Dhoni. What a super shot to get off the mark. Again, he's taking it over length. It disappeared in Bengaluru. And it's disappeared again in Ahmedabad. What a striker of the ball he is. Brings up the 100 for India. What a shot. He picks up his position. Look at this. From the meat of the bat, an eye on the ball in the last second and a great follow-through. Again, a flat delivery from Shahid Afridi in the slot. 91 meters. Don't worry about it. Six on any ground. He's getting a move on now, Yuvraj Singh. This is good pace again. Outside edge with a quicker delivery. Another boundary to Yuvraj Singh. He's on fire. There he goes, big. High and handsome. What a way to greet the bowler into the attack. It was flat and it was big. Into the stands. 88.2 kilometers an hour was the delivery. Was it a quick one or a dusha one? But whatever it was, went miles. 83 meters. Second six from Yuvrat Singh. He's looking in such a good touch. 
Here's goal. And that's for... It's gone off the pads. A way too fine for Mohamed Irfan to stop it. Pulled away hard and into the gap. That's typical Dhoni. Fast hands. And he got rid of that very quickly. Well, he's one of the best pullers in the Indian team. Waits for the short ball to come along. Gets into position very quickly. And powers the ball away. Look at that. Gets into position. Sees the ball. Takes it early. He knows he's got to take it early. He's got enough time to jump and pivot at the same time. He connects early. He's going to hit it between those two fielders. So you can see 10 of the over already. Three balls to go. This is the time you get the big ones. What a shot that is. A risky flick over the offside. 4-2, four, 4-4, four, four. 14 of the over already. A strong bottom man coming into play. He finds the man, it's short, fine, it's through him. A rare misfield. Seven feet, one inch had to come down and it took time. The ball went through, the 50 partnership comes up. Well, he saw him come down and so he bowled at his pads. Good bowling, but let down by the fielder. Let down by the fielder. Slowing it down, but it's gone through the gap. It's a quick outfield, and that's another boundary. 144 for three. He saw Yuvraj coming down, so he fired it in, but Yuvraj still went through with the shot. Got a thickish edge. And a bounded to have 11 runs coming from the over. Six. Easy. Just a flick of the wrist. And into the crowd. This is when he's at his most dangerous. 50 at 6 for Yuvraj in T20 cricket. And look how sweetly he's timed the ball. Smack bang in the middle of the bat. The length ball. Batsman wait for the length ball in these overs. And look, it's sent on its way. 56 is for Yuvraj in this form of the game. He goes again. Make it one more. 51. 50 for Yuvraj Singh in double quick time. Just 29 balls, four boundaries, four sixes. And two sixes back to back. Well, on this pitch, banging the ball in short is just giving the batsman extra time to pick the spot. This is not a Bangalore pitch, this is a slower pitch. Look, it's sat up there asking to be hit. And Yuvraj has said, OK, I'm going to hit it. It's Tony on strike. And that smashed through the offside. A boundary to end the over. A huge one this for the Indians. 18 off it. 162 for three. On one knee. It's massive. He was eyeing that mid-wicket boundary from the outset. This time it was length from Ajman. And the fifth six of the innings for Yuvraj Singh. And what a massive hit this is. On to the second floor. Wow. Again, look at the connection. Ajmal thought that he was going to come down the pitch, so he shortened his length. Yuvraj stayed in his crease. Waited for the ball to come and whacked it. Again, six more. Once again, consecutive sixes. He's peppering that onside boundary, Yuvraj Singh. And the fielders there on the boundary are just spectators. It's the crowd that has to watch. 
16 now this over one to go yes after the first three deliveries the next two have been taken for sixes once again you Yuvraj capitalizing on that short ball short of a length Ajmal's first delivery was a Yorker there was just a single 194 the strike rate for Yuvraj and he finishes it in style another massive blow 72 of 36 for Yuvraj Yes, Suresh Raina comes out to the middle, left-hander replacing a left-hander. Pakistan can breathe a sigh of relief, uh, albeit temporarily. To Raina, marks his guard, it'll be Tony on strike, another explosive player, Raina. What a brilliant innings from Yuvraj. Four balls to go. Strike too long on very quickly. You have to settle for the single. Yuvraj looking for another straight six, getting right on the toe of the bat. It's still almost clear the boundary. This is a very well judged catch. If he hadn't taken it properly, it would have gone just over the boundary. Big wicket that for Pakistan. Best score uh, for Yuvraj in, in his uh, T20 career, 72, 70 against Australia in Durban. A couple of those innings coming in that uh, magical T20 World Cup. Flicked away by Raina, they're finding the fielders in the outfield. Three of this over so far, of the first four balls in a wicket, so a very good one for Pakistan. The stage really set here for a, a crackerjack of a game in good batting conditions. We accept, expect some dew in the outfield. So India will know they have to still bowl and field well to defend the score and it's going to be a big one. Boundary or six here will take them past 190. 37 for five. So the final low ball of the innings coming up. And Rohit Sharma has uh, come out to the middle. No ball signal. And a free hit. So here's a chance for India still technically to reach 200. Because there are two balls left in this over. This is a free hit. A six and a four will get them there. In fact, two sixes will get them there. Yes, overstepping. Mm. Thank your pardon, just one ball left in this over. So they can get into the 190s with a big hit. Here comes Gun. Well struck. Clears the point and over the rope. And what a way to end the innings. A six. Over deep point from Rohit Sharma. So he makes the most of the free hit. So 10 runs come of the last over. Just checking with the third umpire. There was a man at deep point. This ball sailing way over his head. And in fact landing just inside. So it'll be a boundary to end the over. So pull it back by two. It's 192 for five. And that's a significant score. After India lost the toss and were put into bat, after 20, it's 192 for five. Well, what an awesome performance that was by Yuvra. Seven sixes, four fours, 72 off 36 balls, and that after he was hit on the toe and looked for all the world as though he might never walk again. Dhoni played his part as well with a quick fire 33, and between them they put on 97 in just 44 balls. Umar Gull was the only bowler to come out of the mauling with any sort of credit, although he could have done without that last ball no ball which gave Sharma a free hit which he put away for four to finish things off. 
So Pakistan needed 193 to win, a tall order yes, but what effect would the dew have on proceedings? The run chase is next. So all set for play to start. A slip in place for Bhuvaneshwar Kumar. And Jamshed, the man on strike. Starts off with a wide. We didn't see much swing today when Pakistan were bowling. There's another thing he'll have to counter is a, a wet ball. That's a fine shot. He stood up tall and smashed it through the offside. That's up in the air. And land safely and over the rope. It's six signal. Just for a minute you thought that had gone into the sky, won't carry the distance. But the umpire signaled six, so obviously just crossing the line. Much needed this for Pakistan. Yes, at one stage it appeared as if uh, the slow ball has befuddled the batsman, the striker, the hitter, but it made the distance over the rope. Terrific timing from Nasser Jamshed, and this is where he's so good. Came down the, the track and then adjusted beautifully. As he picked the slower ball. So 10 off this over, that's what Pakistan needed to gain some momentum. And make that 14. Very nicely placed. Just using the pace. 14 off the over, 23 for no loss. Oh, that's massive. That is as big a hit as we've seen tonight. Short ball from Ishan Sharma, and that's disappeared into the crowd. And so Pakistan just upping the ante here in the last few deliveries. Oh, this was a monster hit. Gigantic strike from Emma Chazadi. Waited and then lifted it nicely off the back foot. A 99 meter six, would you believe it? The biggest of the day. He looked at the moment he hit it, and that's the longest part of the boundary. It's about 77 meters there from the bat. And it's cleared that by another 20 meters as it uh, went back into the crowd. Now, sensible. Six of the first ball, a single. The momentum now with Pakistan. They're into the 30s, 3.2 overs. Again, flick of the wrist, nicely played, he's picked his spot and he'll get the boundary. Just uh, getting on to that middle and leg stump there. And Jamshed doing well. Oh, lovely shot. Has all the elegance uh, of a left-hander. He's a tall man and he stood up tall there. Lovely balance when he played it. Really is getting into his stride. 25 from 15 now for Jamshed. Didn't have to do uh, much with regard to playing it through the offside because uh, the ball was bowled a little wide, but it was beautifully timed and placed. Wonderful batting from Nasser Jamshed. 25 now from just 15 balls and some magical stuff in this short inning so far. What's good to see Ramiz, he's realized very quickly that timing is important on the surface. He's not looking to blast uh, the leather of the ball, he's uh, getting into good position and stroking it. And already three boundaries and a six. Goes down the track this time, beats it off. That's gone over the uh, infield on the offside and safely into the boundary. So really good start here for Pakistan. Another over where 13 runs have come from. It's 48 for no loss. He's gone straight. That's a good hit. And he'll get four. The best thing to do is to hit straight because long on and long off are very wide. Don't try to hit off spinners towards with the spin because it's not going to turn. This is the perfect shot. Hit straight, hit towards extra cover. You have every chance there as a batsman. Much needed boundary for Pakistan. 
Well, in the air, and it's taken. Eventually, Ashwin bowling much slower through the air. The last delivery at 78.8 k's. There was a little bit of extra bounce, and Jamshed was looking for a boundary opportunity. Having been tied down, he's got to go for 41. It's 74 for one. A flighty delivery outside off stem, a little bit wideish. And he played a cut shot up in the air, went straight to the fielder at the point. Virat Kohli, one of the best fielders in world cricket, he made no mistake. India's got the breakthrough. Nasir Jamshed played well for his 41. Pakistan 74 for one now. Omar Akmal, a strike rate of 116, but he's a far better player. Can be dangerous when he gets going. Down the track, first one is lifted gloriously for six. What a start! Magnificent hit. Went straight, went long, did the distance. Given a taste of his own medicine. He was hitting some big sixes, Yuvraj. The first ball that he bowls. Umar Akmal comes down, clears the front foot. It's a big hit over long on. Thank you very much. That will do the job for you, Raj Singh. He is uh, making it a habit. You, Raj Singh, comes in crunch moments. Batting or bowling doesn't matter. He's done it now with the ball after punishing Pakistan for plenty with the bat. He's got rid of Emma Shazad for 31 in its 84 for two. The uh, second opener going now this time, advancing down the pitch, going for the big hit. Pakistan know that they need to score at 10 runs and over. The required rate, bigger part, 11 runs and over. So they need sixes and boundaries, missing the ball and Dhoni completing the stumping. So the man with the golden arm strikes again. And that brings the Pakistani skipper Mamad Hafiz to the crease. And what a innings he played the other day in Bengaluru at the Chinnaswamy Stadium. Pakistan need another similar effort from him today. He's an intelligent cricketer. Very good all-round cricketer, in fact. Hafiz batted at number three, now demoting himself to number four. Oh, brilliant shot, magnificent shot from Hafiz, he's just come in. And uh, look at the kind of uh, genius that we are watching uh, in Hafiz. Absolute uh, great improvisation. Yes, this is uh, the shot of a man uh, with plenty of confidence. He played a capital innings in Bengaluru the other day. And is this a six? Yes, no. No, I think it might have just dropped in front of the boundary. Uh, on the full yeah i think uh, this angle confirms the the argument that it was on the full hitting the boundary on the full and it may be signal a six but you've got to admire the uh, the improvisation quality of that uh, that shot what do you think six four <laughs> Well, my eyes were not as good as they were last week. So, uh, <laughs> four. So you were right, your eyes are still working fine. <laughs> oh, beautifully played. Hafiz has played a gem. Played it late, played it fine, and got a four. 100 comes up for Pakistan. Well, that's a brilliant shot. Forceful drive for four. Magnificent hit. Got it smack in the middle of the bat and uh, even stunned you, Raj. Well, oh, that's very good use of the feet. And uh, he didn't try to play the lofted shot this time because he got a little too close to the ball. But look at the speed at which the ball has traveled. Just tells you the power. He really smacked that. Really hammered that ball. That's a big shot, six, yes, brilliant, hitting it with the spin, Hafiz. 
another good shot that from the Pakistani captain. Ashwin followed him as he made room. But Hafiz was still able to get the foot out of the line. Good connection. Goes big once again, will find the fence, over it. This is absolutely stunning stuff from Hafiz. Backing it up with another muscly shot over square, over mid-wicket. And Dhoni is uh, at sixes and sevens. Yes, with the sixes being hit by Hafiz. Not surprised he's at sixes and seven because Ashwin is difficult to hit, not always easy to hit. Oh, that's a smashing try. Will it be controlled? Long off. Doesn't hold it back. Virat Kohli with the sprawling effort, but uh, the timing from Hafiz was magnificent. Yes, he really hit it well. Dinda once again giving him just a little bit of room. Nice juicy half volley. There it is. Nice juicy half volley. And uh, it's been hammered away. Dinda has to try and bowl at the stumps. He's giving the batsman just a little too much room around the off stump. Hafiz has a strike rate of 259. Unbelievable. 17 minutes. He's been out there for 31. That's a sweep shot. What great placement. Now, this is brilliant batting. He knew exactly where the fielder was on the leg side. Dinda doesn't know what to do now. So, in the end, India's nerve held and they squeezed home by 11 runs, although when Hafiz and Umar Akmal were building on that excellent opening stand, it was by no means certain that India would be able to keep things sufficiently in check to complete the win. As it was, Dinda bowled two very good death overs at the end. The fielding held up and India were home. So here are the final facts and figures. And this is what all the key players had to say about the game and the series at the present. The Airtel man of the match for a brilliant innings here today. 76 of just 32 that lit up the stadium. Yuvraj Singh. Well, you would like to ask both the captains to go and collect the trophy. It'll be shared between India and Pakistan.